Hi everyone, it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here with a new PB&J card making video. And today we are going to be making a card doing some scenic stamping featuring stamps from Penny Black's newest collection called Hello Winter. And here is a look at the card that we will be creating. This is actually very easy to do and such a fun process. So the stamp that we will be featuring is a new cling stamp 40-814 panoramic. And we're going to start by stamping using the Misty Stamp Positioning Tool. And I'm stamping on Decanson 140 pound watercolor paper. I am inking up my stamp using archival ink in the color of cobalt. So this is a Ranger archival ink pad. It is the mini size. And I chose this ink because I love this color and also because it is waterproof. So we're going to be painting on top of this and I didn't want it to bleed and blend as we were painting. So into my palette here I have added Distress Ink Reinkers and I'm going to use them as watercolors. And I do have all of the exact colors that I'm using today listed down in the YouTube description box below. And I have all the Penny Black supplies listed and linked down in the YouTube description box below. So I'm starting by painting on just water and I am painting it where I want the sky to be. So wherever the water is is where that paint is going to flow. And so you can see there when I bring down that paint or it's actually ink down into that wet area it's going to start to move and flow. And adding that extra layer of water before I start it also buys me a little more time before it dries. So once it's dry that's when you can get like a lot of splotching or lines and I wanted this to have a somewhat smooth transition from the darker color at the bottom to the lighter color the white up at the top. So by putting down that layer of water it just gave me a little more time to do some blending to mix in some other colors before everything started to dry. So you can see here I started with a turquoise color. This was some peacock feathers and I'm dropping in some chipped sapphire ink into that. Now I went ahead and dried that with my heat gun and I've got some painters tape here. I'm just put it on my sweater so it wouldn't be too sticky. It'd be easy to get up when I was done. I tore off one edge and I'm going to lay this down at the bottom of the card to use as a mask. And so I'm just masking off a second layer of a snowbank down here at the bottom. And I'm going to start adding in a little bit of ink. This is some gathered twigs. Distress Ink Reinker used as a watercolor. I just wanted a little variation here in the color. Very light and I'm actually going back over with just water on my brush to sort of blend and lift some of that color. And then I'm going to drop in some of that Peacock Feathers color and a touch of the faded jeans to tie into the sky. So if that's kind of a shadow, then it just sort of ties in and reflects into the sky. And then I also decided to drop in just a little bit of that gathered twigs in a few places up here on the sky. I'm using silver black velvet paint brushes. I get a lot of questions about what paint brushes I'm using. These are really great for watercolor. I like how much water they hold and how pointed the tip can get. So I've listed the sizes I'm using again down in that description box below. Playing around here going back and forth and you can see how quickly the scene is already coming together with just that one beautiful stamp and a little bit of watercoloring. Now I've kept that painter's tape in place and I'm going to do some stamping. This stamp is also part of that panoramic cling stamp that did the birds on a wire and I'm just going to stamp that a couple of times using that cobalt. And now I'm going to grab a stamp from the new transparent set 30-874 perfectly potted. And I'm going to use this just to add a few extra branches here and there. Now I didn't use a painter's tape um, mask up here up at the top. I wasn't anticipating doing any stamping, but after I stamped that image um, down below, I felt like I needed a little bit more over here on the left to balance things out. So I just put a post-it note just right up to the edge so that I could mask off the snow bank down below. I'm stamping this in just a little bit lighter color. This is um, Bluebird and it is another Ranger Archival ink. I wanted it to be just a little bit more subtle, just some actually just almost provides like a visual texture up here in this corner. And I love how the stamps from this perfectly potted set can be used as trees, like with the whimsical trunks and the different designs, but you can also just use them as branches. 
I'm going to move this over and do a little bit more stamping so you can see me there just using some post-it notes to mask off that bottom portion. Sorry about my head there while I get things positioned. And I'll just ink that up and then stamp it. Now I do stamp a couple of times, that's why this Misty Stamp Positioning Tool is so handy. Because I'm stamping onto watercolor paper, it has a little bit of texture to it, so by doing a couple of impressions, it just allows for even coverage with the stamp. It also allows me to start with a lighter color and do a couple of impressions just to build up that color. And again, I wanted just a little bit more up here kind of running off the edge of the paper. Just cleaning off my stamp here before I move it. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of this down here in the corner. And for this I am using archival ink in the color of sky blue because I'm stamping onto lighter um, like the white and just that little bit of painting down here, I wanted to use just a little bit lighter color. Now I love this step, removing that mask, that tape, to reveal that white snow below. Next I'm going to add a sentiment. This is from our new transparent set called When Snow Falls. It's awesome for making winter themed cards. These scenic stamps can really be used for winter cards, holiday cards, masculine cards, birthday cards, thinking of you in the winter. It's just so fun to be able to continue that winter stamping. These scenes are so fun to make and so um, that transparent sentiment set is a great way to finish off any of these scenic cards. Now I've just grabbed a detail paintbrush from Arteza and just some cheap white acrylic paint and I am just adding a few snowflakes here and there. You could certainly splatter the background but I have found this is actually faster for me and I like having just a little bit more control <laughs> of where the snowflakes land and um, it's just faster and it's easier cleanup and so I usually just paint them right on randomly onto the background. I can go around my sentiment, but I do try to layer some on top of like the telephone pole and on top of some of the birds. So it does get a feeling that the snow is falling down behind and in front of the images. So here is a look at the finished card. I think this would be fun to make like a set of cards and you could easily just change the color that you paint that sky in the background and give this a totally different look. You could add some of our new tree stamps. There's just so much you can do with these simple techniques. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also connect with Penny Black on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, as well as Instagram, our website and blog, and all of those will be linked for you down in the YouTube description box. Happy stamping!